In 2017, the first deuterated medication was approved by the U.S. Food and Drug Administration. Deuteration involves swapping out the hydrogen atoms in a molecule for deuterium, which is simply a heavier form of hydrogen. Deuterium slows down the rate of drug metabolism and enables patients to take smaller and less frequent doses, which has inspired scientists to make and test deuterated versions of many drugs. Unfortunately, doing this is not easy. Deuteration normally requires reactions with deuterium gas, which is expensive and, like hydrogen, very explosive. We were therefore interested in using deuterated water, or D2O, as a safe and readily available source of deuterium. One major challenge with D2O, however, is that it does not mix well with many of the molecules we want to deuterate. To solve this problem, our group has developed a reactor containing a membrane with a single piece of palladium metal foil. This metal foil keeps the deuterated water from mixing with the drug precursors in the opposite chamber, but it allows deuterium, and only deuterium, to pass through the membrane. When we add a little electricity, deuterium atoms are shuttled from the water, through the palladium, and to the other side, where they are added directly to the target molecule. This reactor uses deuterium from D2O without ever dealing with solubility issues of mixing D2O and organic chemicals and without ever using explosive deuterium gas. Our safer, cheaper reactor can be used to make deuterated versions of many pharmaceuticals, enabling patients to take less medication while decreasing harmful side effects.